Sims, Wizards, Witches, and Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I'm going to be showing you my ultimate Harry Potter Christmas gift guide for 2019. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that a few of the items that I'm featuring today have been sent to me for free to show you guys. And whenever I show you one of these items, I'll let you guys know up here. So a big thanks to both the Wizarding World and Noble Collection for making this video possible. Anyway, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because, boy, do we have a lot to get through. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the most affordable items and work up to the most expensive ones and I'm also going to leave links in the description for each item should you want any of these for yourselves. I've also put time codes down there too should you want to hop between each one or come back to them later. Alrighty then, let's get started with the first item and oh my god I'm so excited about this. So we have got the Harry Potter Quill Gel Eyeliner. Now these are available as part of the the bath and beauty range that you can get from Boots which is a pharmaceuticals type beauty shop in England. On the back it says ensure your lines are as sharp as quick quotes with this Harry Potter quill gel eyeliner. I'm a big lover of makeup and Harry Potter so to find products that combine both of those things I'm very excited about this range and there is more. But we'll get onto those in just a moment so if you do want to get your hands on this this costs six pounds which is about eight dollars or seven euros. Next up is a product that I personally fangirled about because Deathly Hallows lipsticks. What a genius idea. So these are the Harry Potter Dark Arts Color Illusion lipsticks. So you do get three of them in a pack and they're actually really beautiful. You, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but they've got Deathly Hallows all over them and they're matte black and they're actually stunning. And the lipsticks themselves are triangular shapes which is a little bit unusual but you do get three separate colors. It just showed them here on the back. You get this kind of pinky color. In fact they're all kind of pinks and reds really. It's described as red, orange and purple but I would say the purple is more fuchsia. But either way, you can get these for £8.50 or around $11 or €10. Euros. The next thing I think you guys are going to be really excited about because they are Hogwarts House bath essences and I love a good bubble bath and they do have one for each of the houses and you know what I have sniffed some of these already I smelt the Gryffindor one which I really like which I'm just like yes they got the scent right for the Gryffindors um, but I also had a little bit of a sniff of the Ravenclaw one and they are all different so some of the scents that you can expect in here are uh, so the Gryffindor one for example is bergamot lime and verbena verbena Hmm, not sure. And the Ravenclaw one is, it has oriental notes of tuberose, jasmine, and rose. I'll tell you the others because I, I know that you're going to feel left out if I don't. All you Slytherins and Hufflepuffs. There is grapefruit, lemon, and orange for Hufflepuffs. And there is bergamot and juniper berries for Slytherin. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. I think they're going to look really cute next to my bath. And I just like that they come in a quite a nice little set. So these cost £10 if you're in the UK. Uh, they also cost cost around $13 if you're in the US and 11 euros if you're in Europe. Now, something I think would be really special to get your fellow wizards or witches or yourself, because treat yourself, are some graphic design work by Mina Lima. Now, a lot of their prints are quite high end, but you can get some really lovely posters from them. I personally own two already, which I am going to show you. Now, just to let you guys know, the frames are not included with the next two items I'm about to show you. I got them from Ikea. But the posters you can get off the Mina Lima website or in their store and they're really affordable so here is the first one. Oh, it's so big and reflective so this is the Harry's alphabet poster and it obviously you can see it's got the alphabet and each thing is related to something in the wisdom world or something related to magic so for example we have got G for goblin, we've got F for frog, we've got T for toad, Q for quill, P for pumpkin, W for wizard, obviously, though it could be witch as well, depending which way you swing. So yeah, we've got B for broomsticks. I just really like this one. I think it looks really kind of subtle, if you like. I think it's a subtle Harry Potter kind of printy design poster words. Yes, we've got another one, so let's have a look at that. 
And the second one, which is a personal favourite of mine, is this Alops, 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 Owl Emporium poster. And it's just really lovely. It says, for all of your feathered friends requirements, visit the Emporium in Diagonale. Yeah, I just really loved this one. And I thought it was really pretty. And again, nice and subtle. It doesn't scream Harry Potter at you. But yeah, it's just, they're lovely. And they're a really brilliant size as well. So you can get these, as I said, from their store or on their website. So those cost £10 each or around $13 if you're from the US or €11. Euros. The next thing is an item which I think will be a lot of fun, especially with the family at Christmas, because it is a Harry Potter game. Now, I haven't played this before, but I've always wanted it. I've got a games cupboard in my kitchen, and I cannot wait to play this during the festive season. So, this is a game called Dobble. It takes around 15 minutes a game, and you have to be six years and up, and it takes between two and eight players. It's a really easy game, so if you're not into really confusing ones, this might be the one for you. So it says in double there is always one matching symbol between any two cards. So you get these round cards with loads of pictures on them and it says spot it first and you win. There's 55 cards and five quick party games. Yeah it's just a nice little fun one. It's a little bit like snap so when you see two of the same character or item you're the winner. So that's pretty cool. So you can get this from Amazon and I believe I've seen this in many bookstores so definitely go check out your local bookstore if you're going to look for this. And again, this is £10 or if you're in the US, it's approximately $13 or €11. Euros. I've got another item from Boots here, which is my personal favourite, I think, because of how beautiful it looks. Here it is. This is a golden snitch face palette. So this is your blushes, your bronzers, your highlighters, all in one. And it comes in this beautiful golden snitch case. It's absolutely stunning. When I saw it, I knew that I had to buy it. And I was just like, oh, oh, she's pretty. And and magic makeup. It, it fills my heart with a lot of joy. So these cost £12.50 or if you're in the US this will cost you around $16 or €14. Euros. I just think it's so magical and these are official. All of the stuff from Boots, they are Wizarding World official merchandise. Can't wait to put it on my face. It's gonna make my makeup routine even more magical than it usually is. The next two items are extremely popular this time of year and it is the second year running that they are available and I managed to finally get some of my own. They are the Primark Harry and Ron Christmas sweaters. Now these are absolutely wonderful. They're very, very soft. I love the kind of gold tinselly glitter letters in the center. I just really like them and I'm really happy I managed to get one this year because they can be a little bit difficult to find, especially in your size. So these these cost £14 each and I will show you the run one in a second. So they're around $18 and approx 16, 17 euros. They're really lovely. They're very snuggly. I have worn these already. I couldn't resist before filming this video, but I'm going to be wearing these all around Christmas time. I'm very excited. So yes, not only can you get the Harry Potter one, you can also get the Crimson Ronald Weasley Christmas sweater, but aren't they just beautiful and really affordable? as well because I know that some of the official Wizarding World jumpers can be quite pricey but that's because they're made in Scotland and of very nice materials and fabrics. So yeah if you want a nice affordable version of these jumpers Primark is the place to get them. Moving on to a book. Now this was a treat yourself purchase that I got a few months ago but I thought it would make a perfect Christmas gift if you know a wizard or witch that doesn't have this already and it is part of a series. This is the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire illustrated edition which is illustrated by Jim Kay. He is a phenomenal illustrator. I'm going to give you a cheeky sneak peek at some of the illustrations in here. So here's a personal favourite of mine and this is the Hogwarts Express in the rain and you can see all of the Hogwarts scarves flying out of the windows. They're just beautiful. I think I think these are appropriate for younger wizards or witches as well because it's nice to have that visual alongside with the story but I love these I have been collecting them so this costs 16 pounds you can get this for now which is a steal they were a lot more expensive when they first came out let me tell you so you can also get this for approximately 21 dollars if you're in the US as well as around 19 euros so beautiful love these books very much they're very special Puff. 
<laughs> Good joke with Pygmy Puffs. Ooh, no, she can't. Now, I do have some fairly new releases from Noble Collection. You can see a little bit of purple fluff here, which might give it away. They have got the fluffiest of Pygmy Puffs that I have ever seen. They are genuinely so soft. Look at their little faces with their little ears, but you haven't seen the cutest thing yet. Pygmy Puff Feet. They've got little beans on the bottom of their puff bodies. Yeah, so you can get these in pink, but you can also get them in purple, and they're the cutest thing. They currently still have their labels on because they haven't been fully adopted yet, but look how adorable they are, little tiny little pygmy puffs. But yes, you can get these straight from Noble Collection. These are £19 or approximately $24 if you're in the US or €22. Euros. They're so cute, and they might even sing you a little song on Boxing Day. I have got for you another board game which I'm very excited about. It's another game that I haven't played yet but I'm so excited because seriously over the last couple of years so many new Harry Potter board games and kind of trivia games have been released. I'm collecting them all let me tell you. So we have got Pictopia Harry Potter edition. This looks very exciting. So this is the ultimate picture trivia family game and it includes Fantastic Beasts so I guess it could be Wizarding World edition if we're gonna and we're gonna be technical. But here it is, so there are 1,000 questions. I feel as though I'd be very, very good at this game. I need to invite some of my Harry Potter friends over to play. So, oh, you can see it. And lots of things on the back. There is a family playing it down here. So it says make family game time enchanting. Sounds very magical. So you can get this from £20 or it's around $26 if you're in the US or €23. Euros. Um, I just love board games. I'm all about that life. I'm really excited. Look at all the... Oh my god, there's a card with Patronuses on it. I am gonna nail this game. I'm gonna be so good at it. Can't wait to play it. Next up is an item that I really wanted under my own Christmas tree this year, but Santa delivered it early. So this is another book, and this is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, The Journey. So this shows the behind the scenes of the award-winning stage production, so it says on the front cover, but oh, gold foiling. It's not the main reason I wanted this book, I promise. So if you have seen Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on stage, you'll know what a wonderful show it really is and a piece of, oh, it's just a magical piece of theatre. I need to see it for a third time. It was very, very good. I. I just loved it so much. I felt every emotion under the sun. But this shows all of the behind the scenes and it goes into all of the characters and everything. Uh, oh, definitely maybe don't get this book if you've not seen it on stage yet and you don't want spoilers because this is filled with magical secrets which won't be kept if you read it, but it is absolutely beautiful. This is a very new release actually in the Wizarding World and this costs £22 or around $28 or $29 if you're in the US or €26, Euros. but yes, this is definitely something that I wanted under my Christmas tree. It would make a very nice addition to any of you Ravenclaws out there that love collecting Harry Potter books or any of the other houses. It's all good. <laughs> So excited to read it. Now the next item is something that's going to excite collectors or the younger wizards or witches. I really want to play with this even as an old witch. <laughs> this is part of the Mattel range and this is Harry Potter Your Ball collection and this is Hermione Granger in her Your Ball dress. She's very beautiful in that pink dress. You can actually buy those from the Harry Potter studio tour in London. I was tempted, I'm not gonna lie, but yes, they have got a doll range and it's all surrounding the Your Ball theme. You can even see which other ones you can get on the back. We can get, of course, Harry Potter himself. And there's also Ronald Weasley in his hand-me-down dress robes. He's also got a Your Ball invitation there. Oh. This one comes with one as well. Comes with a little Your Ball invitation extra. And you can also get hold of Cho Chang, her dress, her Your Ball dress. It's beautiful. So you can get these for £25 or around $32 US dollars or €29. Euros. These would be so fun. Oh my goodness. I kind of want them all. I wish that I was young enough to play with them. But th yes, they're beautiful. Mattel always does a wonderful job with their figures slash dolls. 
I am so excited to show you the next two items. They are from the same range. I am so excited to put them onto my shelves. These are brand new to Noble Collection and they are part of the Magical Creatures range. I'm gonna start with this one because this one, I squealed when I saw it. That's right. They have got a miniature mandrake replica, which he does come out of his little pot. And I'm pretty sure the pot base comes off as well so that you can display them onto your shelves. These are beautiful. I I have quite a few of these. I've got the Cornish Pixie one and what's the other one that I've got? Mm. Ockamy, the Ockamy one is stunning. But yes, this is absolutely beautiful. I think this would make a really lovely Christmas gift for anyone that's really into Harry Potter. I would have just cried if I'd unwrapped this on Christmas day. So yes, this is a brand new one in their collection and this costs £27.50 or if you're in the US, it's approximately $36 or 32 euros. So this is the first one from this range, the new released ones and oh, I don't think I'm ready to show you the next one. I did not know know that this was released. I knew the mandrake one was, but this one I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I want to put it in like a jug of water so I look really extra. This is a Grindelow. I love these. They're very creepy. They're kind of a little bit like octopus, octopi, octopuses, octopi. Either way, it's a Grindelow and I really like these magical beasts. So to have this as part of the magical creature range, I was thrilled. I was thrilled to see it. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot wait to display them. But there are so many more of these magical creatures that you can collect. Seriously, there are so many. Go pick your favorite because there's just so many to collect. They're like, they're like Pokemon. And of course the Grindelow does cost the same as Mr. Mandrake over there or Mrs. Mandrake, who knows? Okay, I've got another big item for you and I'm pretty sure this is fairly new out in the Wizarding World. I have seen other sorting hats. Got my very own sorting hat, haven't I? This is the real talking sorting hat. I mean, don't think it's the one that was in the films, but he definitely talks. Oh my God, he moves. That's creepy. Hang on. Yeah, so you have to try him on and he'll tell you what house that you should be sorted into, which is very exciting. He feels very nicely made. It's quite luxurious, nicely stitched as well. Hello, Mr. Sorting Hat. So yes, you can get these for 30 pounds or if you're in the US, they're around $40 or 35 euros. This is another fun one for the young wizards or witches or if you just want a sorting hat to be within your magical Wizarding World collection. It's quite a big sorting hat. It is almost life-sized. You could put that on your head. It's it's pretty cool. It says talking and animatronic mouth movement, which is very exciting. I think it would, wouldn't be as magical if his mouth didn't move, would it? But yes, this does require batteries as well. That's always something to note when you're buying these kind of things. Otherwise, you might have a little bit of a sad Christmas if you don't buy the batteries for things that require them. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to put you on the floor. Please don't be mad at me. Something that I personally enjoy doing at Christmas, especially with family as well, is building Lego. It doesn't matter what age you are, Lego is for all ages and it's just a lot of fun. So I do have some Lego that I recommend this Christmas. One of them you may have seen me build on my channel earlier this year. It is the Harry Potter Night Bus. This is by far my favorite Harry Potter Lego set so far. It's just really fun. It's a really nice size to display on your shelves as well, whereas some of the other sets can be quite large to display but this one's really nice and it does come with some mini figures as well you've got Stan Shunpike you've got Ernie Prang as well as Harry Potter it is a really fun one to build so I definitely recommend this one the night bus goes for around 35 pounds which is 46 dollars if you're in the US or 41 euros but yes this is the Lego set that I do recommend the most because it's my personal fave but I do have another one to show you if you want something a little bit bigger However, as the next Lego set is bigger, it is more expensive, so we'll see it later on in the gift guide. Another personal favorite of mine, which I definitely recommend. I love this so much. This is a mini Hogwarts trunk handbag. That's right, this does have a strap inside which you can attach to these little loops at the side. These are made beautifully. They are actually made out of wood and faux leather and they've got these beautiful rivets. I have shown this off before on my channel but this one 
This one in particular is personalised. We've got CW on there, so you can get these personalised to whoever you're going to gift it to, or maybe you want to treat yourself. You can get your own initials on there too. I just love them. I love them. I love the big one that you can get, but I love the fact that this one's a handbag and it comes with a nice faux leather strap. I think it would just make a really awesome gift, and what you could do with this, if you really wanted to push the boat out and you had other galleons to spend, you could fill this with other magical treats, and this could be kind of like the gift box. I think that's a really cool idea. So you can get these from £39 or if you're in the US they're around $51 or €46. Euros. Honestly, I think this is worth it. It's beautiful quality. I think anyone would be pleased to receive one of these mini trunks. They've even got these little catches that actually work. Like, wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful gift and I recommend it. I recommend everything but this. Oh! Oh, and one thing that I didn't mention, if you are a member of Wizarding World Gold, which we will talk about in just a little while, these are a lot cheaper on the Platform 9 3 quarter shop. These are as cheap as £31 with the discount. What? It's a steal. Woo! She's excited about this one. I haven't even taken this one out of the box. It's an early present to me from Nova Collection. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is a brand new, maybe the newest release from the Wizarding World that we have seen this year. And this is the Hermione Granger bag replica. Now, Noble Collection did used to make a Hermione's bag back in the day, but then they stopped, they stopped, they discontinued them, but they've come out with a brand new one. And I've got to say, the detailing on this, girl, they're not messing around. It's honestly stunning. It's got everything. It's even, oh, it's got little beads that look oil slick and kind of shiny and Oh, the quality's there, the quality's there, let me tell you. This would make a beautiful gift. It would be a very special gift, especially as it's brand new. It's a finely crafted prop replica. This is exactly the same as the ones that you will see Hermione hold in the films. Very, very excited. There we have, we've got little Hermione on the back, hold, clutch, clutching her purse strings. Uh, <laughs> so yes, as seen in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. I am very excited to get this out of the box. I know some collectors don't like taking things out of boxes. I'm not that girl. Get it straight onto my shelves. So you can get this for £45, or if you're in the US, these are around $59 US dollars or €53 Euros a prox. So yeah, oh, she's pretty, she's soft. Oh, I can just put all of my Harry Potter collection into this bag. It's like a miniature TARDIS, let's not lie. It's beautiful. The next two items have been on my Christmas wish list all year. Genuinely, I've got a shelf that's just ready for them. So there are two of these, but let's talk about the first one. This is the Puking Pastels Bookend from Noble Collection. I love the Puking Pastels statue that you can see in Weasley's Wizards Wheezies in Diagon Alley, the one in the studio tour. The pastels do actually puke out of her mouth. Sounds a little bit gross, but I just love the design of these things and I'm very excited. So these are bookends, they're a really nice size and yeah, Noble Collection, £55 each or around 72 US dollars or 65 euros. But look at these. Oh, spoiler for the next one, they come as a set. But yes, this is uh puking pastels girl. And when I say come as a set, it just means that they work together. They are sold separately, just that I've put that out there in case any of you got confused. So this one says, pair the puking pastels bookend with the bubble boy bookend, which we're about to look at, sold separately for a display inspired by Weasley's Wizards Wheezy's joke shop, a scene in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So these bookends measure nine and a half inches tall, which is a pretty good size, I'm not gonna lie, for a bookend. So yeah, let's take a look at the Bubble Boy bookend, which I've got right down here. Wow, okay, here we have the Bubble Boy himself. I love his little tummy and the, the bubbles. It's very, very fun. So this one, yeah, it's the one that goes alongside the Puking Pastels one. It says the same on the back. It's nine and a half inches tall, but look how wonderful they will look on a Weasley's inspired shelf. I cannot wait. I've got a few other Weasley things, but these are really nice. This is something that people wouldn't necessarily think was out there to purchase, I guess. It's not one of the obvious replicas that I think you'd think about if you thought about Harry Potter merch. I think this is a really neat idea. And I'm pretty sure these are fairly new over the last year they've been released, but I'm just very pleased to have these in my collection. I think anyone would be proud to have them too, especially if they're big fans of Fred and George. 
So this one does cost the exact same as the Puking Pastels Girl, so £55 or around 72 US dollars or 65 euros. You're going straight onto my shelf, bubble boy, don't you know? You know she's going to be pricey when she's weighty. Here we have the beautiful Mirror of Erised Mirror. Obviously it's a mirror. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Little giggles now. Ooh. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was like Bailey the beluga whale from Dory. Ooh. So here we have one of perhaps my most... Wow, I can't do words. It's so beautiful. I'm just obsessed with it. This is from Noble Collection. This is the official Mirror of Erised replica. It's absolutely stunning. It's really heavy as well. It's actually... It's made out of metal, it's very cold. Cold to the face, not sure why you put your face on it. Maybe don't do that. So this mirror of Erised decor slash replica costs 55 pounds, or if you're in the US, this costs 72 dollars or 65 euros. This is a treat yourself replica. It's really beautiful. This has been on my wish list for years genuinely years so i'm so excited to find a home for it on the back of this you can hang it up properly with the hooks like this is beautifully made like hello it's also got a stand as well if you'd like to prop her up hands-free on a on a vanity table but it is beautiful oh the mirror vera said though the mirror vera said at the studio tour actually has a third little tower which i i've just noticed i've just been to the studio tour two days in a row but this definitely does yeah doesn't have it on this one but it is beautiful also the words here look a little bit like gobbledygook but actually it's not if you read it backwards it's actually a sentence that is backwards. So the mirror of Erised means the, the mirror of desire because Erised is desire backwards. So if you read this backwards, it actually says, I show not your face, but what your heart's desire. And oh, very smart, very clever, very magical. But this would be stunning on a bedroom wall, on a bedroom vanity. I just love it so much. I don't know what I would see in the mirror of Erised. Probably hugging JK Rowling again, but that's in the past, not the future. No, it shows you what your heart desires. Just being best friends with Joe. That would be cool. I'd just be crying all the time. <laughs> the next item is something that is brand new to our Wizarding World, and that is Wizarding World Gold. Not spawn, but is gifted. Though so this has been sent to me for free by Wizarding World themselves, and I... I'm a big fan of this after using it and researching it and just enjoying it for the past few weeks. I think this would be on the top of my Christmas wish list as a Harry Potter Wizarding World fan. I think this is the thing that I might recommend the most. So this is the official Harry Potter fan experience Wizarding World Gold. So I'll tell you a little bit about this. When you sign up or you can gift it to someone on you know, as a gift, you know how gifting works. You get like a little code and you have to download the Wizarding World app, which is better when you are a part of the Gold Club. So you will get a magical gift when you sign up to this. It will be your Keys and Curious journal. Okay, there are so many things. So when you visit Harry Potter locations around the world, so whether you're going to the Cursed Child in San Francisco, or whether you're going to the one in New York or London, or maybe you're going to Platform 9 and 3 Quarter Shop, there are collectible pins that if you show your app to them, they will just give you these pins that you can collect all around the world at Harry Potter locations, which I'm very excited about. I've already got mine from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. So this also gives you crazy, and I mean crazy, discounts. I've already been taking advantage of this. So I actually saved, I think, £33 last time I did a shop at the Studio Tour because I was a member. If you buy a lot of Harry Potter merch, or you're a collector, this will be worth it in probably like one or two shops. Like shopping sprees because honestly it's great so this costs 60 pounds a year and i will mention this is only available at the moment in the uk and the united states of america but my sources tell me 
from the Ministry of Magic that this will be coming to other countries in the future as well. So in dollars, this costs around 78 US dollars. Honestly, I do think it's worth it. You get all of the eBooks included. You get a lot of extra things. So on the app, you get to watch loads of behind the scenes videos from the archive in the Wizarding World. There's just so many perks. You also get early access Cursed Child tickets and early access tickets to other things like I think the studio tour as well. There's a lot to it. And honestly, it's a lot for me to say this, this is probably the best gift that you can give to a, a Harry Potter fan or Wizarding World fan this Christmas. That's how cool this is. So yeah, this is your Wizarding World Gold subscription. You get this little gift box and inside you get some really nice little bits of artwork in there. And behind this is your membership code. I'm not going to show you because the code is on there. But yeah, so magic awaits with Wizarding World Gold and I'm definitely going to renew my subscription next year. That's how much I love it. Let's move on, we've got two more things to go. As previously mentioned with the last Lego set, I have got another one to show you. Now this is definitely a little bit pricey, so it's definitely up there with the collector's kind of Legos, or if you really, really wanna treat someone. So this is the Harry Potter Hogwarts clock tower. So it's quite large, not as big as the full castle, but it is a very big set. And oh my God, it's got everyone in their Yule Ball outfits. Ah, I'm living for it. Oh my God. They've even got Madame Maxime, which is a bigger than usual mini figure. She's like, oh, Professor Dumbledore. Um, <laughs> we've got Albus Dumbledore, Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory, Fleur Delacour, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter, and Hermione Granger. Oh my God they've got the eye sculptures on the tables. Oh my God, okay. Oh my God, they've got a little Christmas tree. I'm obsessed with Madame Maxime that comes with this set. Oh, <laughs> I've just seen the back of the box. Look at it. Oh, I kind of want to build it myself. Oh, okay. Oh, she's nice. Yeah, sorry, I'm just fangirling. Just give me a moment. Oh my God, they even twirl. You can move the clock with a little it's got a little mechanical thing to change the time on the clock tower. But also, I think my favourite thing is, there's this little bit that spins all the little minifigures around so it looks like they're dancing. Ah, oh, that would make such a magical Christmas day, opening and building that on Christmas. Look, it's got snow all over it. I did mention that this was a treat yourself purchase. This isn't cheap. This is the second most expensive thing on this Christmas gift guide. So if you would like to treat yourself, treat a wizard or witch, get your galleons ready because in the UK this costs 85 pounds. If you're in the US, this costs $111 aprox and 100 euros. So it is definitely a treat yourself, but ooh. <sighs> I do love Lego. I, I, I just love it. I think, oh my God, it's got the prefix bathroom on the bottom and the little, it's got a little mirror. It's got the mermaids in the, mm, mm. love it. Love a bit of goblet of fire. I did just mention that that was the second most expensive thing on this ultimate Wizarding World gift guide, Christmas gift guide, which brings me on to the very top thing on the list, which is the most expensive. So clutch your purse, uh, <laughs> lock it away maybe. <laughs> Prepare your bank balance. Maybe throw away your Gringotts key so that you, you can't spend your galleons. Okay, I'm gonna go get it, it's quite large. This next piece before I show you, I will just stress, this may look like a toy. It may be very fun to play with. It's definitely not designed to be a toy. This is definitely something out there for the collectors. Now, this is at the top of my Wizarding World Christmas gift guide, so it's gonna be very expensive. I am gonna tell you the price before I show it to you, so hold on to your purse strings, hold on to your Gringotts coins. This costs 200 pounds to buy, or around 261 US dollars, or 235 euros aprox. She's expensive, let me tell you, there's no avoiding that. So, oh, she's big. She comes in a big box. Here she is. <laughs> Okay, oh, she's so big, I'm gonna have to carry her like this. So this is the Hogwarts Express train set by Hornby. So that's the brand that makes this. It is licensed, as you can see. She's very big. I'm gonna turn her around so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, so we get the Hogwarts Castle locomotive part of the train. We've got the Hogwarts Express composite coach, and then we've got the 
Hogwarts Express brake coach. We've basically got the entirety of the Hogwarts Express train in miniature form. It's going to be very detailed. This does come with train tracks. So you can, it, it does, it drives around a track, which is so extra. I'm kind of living for it. Um, <laughs> now, as well as this, you can get things that go along with this Hogwarts Express electric train set. You can get platform nine and three quarters. You can get Hogsmeade station building. You can get the Hogsmeade general office, the Hogsmeade booking hall, the waiting room, the signal box, and a footbridge. You can make the entire Oh my god, you can you can make Hogsmeade and just have the train going in circles. I wish I had space for this. I would love to like run it around my house all the time. But yeah, so this is the Hornby Hogwarts Express. This is definitely something for the collectors out there or for the people that are big Hornby fans who also like Harry Potter. This is at the top of the ultimate Wizarding World Christmas gift guide. This is an exciting piece. I can't wait to see it in action, to be honest. Oh my goodness! Have we just got to the end of the Ultimate Wizarding World Christmas gift guide? I think we have. It's been quite the journey. Please do let me know if you've got this far in the video. Leave a Christmas tree and a lightning bolt in the comments. And let me know what is on your Christmas wish list. Are any of these things on your wish list? Have you got any of these things? Have you purchased any of these things for others? Wizards and witches out there. And of course, if you guys at home have any suggestions on things that you think you would add to your very own Wizarding World gift guide or anything that I missed out definitely leave a comment down below so that we can all look down there have a little cheeky sneak peek at suggestions magic all the magic i'm getting delirious i've been talking about magical christmas things for a very long time anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have get a magical thumbs up and i guess i will see you very soon in a magical video can't believe it's christmas soon holy moly how doing it <laughs>